Welcome! Hi guys. To another episode of Game Society. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Just hilarious. I mean. So hilarious. Let me tell you. How's everyone doing though? Hey, 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 Coco could not contain herself any longer. Sorry, I couldn't And do it. she gave us... Oh, there's Crunchy! Hey, Crunchy! How are we doing, Crunchy? We're finally getting you to play your game. Yes, but, we are. But, as I was saying, Coco could not uh, contain herself any longer and gave me my Christmas presents early. And she got hers early, of course, too. But, she gave us a cam link! Yay! You know what that means, guys. Early. Yes, early. Yes. It is early. So yeah, I have opened good. all my Christmas gifts from from Coco. Yes. Yes, but woo! That yeah. means better video quality. So you get that nice 4K video quality. Yes. <laughs> and all our we YouTube just gotta videos, get, too. We gotta get the nice, uh, nice lighting now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I, I, not knowing I was getting a cam link... Still got her a bunch of camera lenses. Yeah, you did. You got so she lenses. got uh, all of them, you say? All of what, you say? All of what? All of what? I'm scared. <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. Yes, all of all of the Christmas gifts I have opened, yes. Yes. From Coco. Yes. And Coco's opened all of mine. Yes. Presents, Presents yes, 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 yes. Yeah, we As did you can see, early. there's a large box of stuff that... Of trash and things. One of them. <laughs> One of the large boxes, yeah. We got like all this trash sitting in there. So, uh, yes. Out. So, but we have the cam link so we can use her 4K camera. And she got a wide angle lens as well as a yeah, fish eye lens and a telescopic lens. Is that what it's called? Macro no. lens. Macro lens. They're macro lenses, honey. <laughs> Your present is in the mail. Thank you, Entity. Aw, thank you, Entity. You really didn't have to get us and send us anything. It's very Christmassy in here, too. Retro is telling stories, so I've got a YouTube fireplace on my TV. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Make sure to open on stream so I can D. See. Well, yes, we're going to open it on stream, Entity. Of yes. course. Of course. Even if we have to open it on or stream on Christmas Day just to open the gift. Well, technically... Technically... That is a Wednesday. Yes. Christmas is a Wednesday. But no one's going to be here to watch. It would just be. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, I mean <laughs> <laughs> that is but, true. <laughs> so we we got our nice 4K camera set up here. Post Christmas, we'll we'll have that set up. Yeah, we'll have all that fun stuff set up after Christmas. Our dog got a toy for Christmas and it's playing with it. <laughs> As you can hear. But anyway, you want to tell them what we're doing? Today? Ah, yes. So. Uh, Entity and Crunchy and everyone else who happens to be here. Uh, we're playing Crunchy's game. His new game. Now, I'm going to put it on the screen so you guys can see it, but you can't really see it. So it's, it's uh... <laughs> Bunny Hill Horror! Entity's like, ooh, yes, yes. I'm actually excited Bunny to Hill Horror. Crunchy. Crunchy uh, made the game, so... And I'm very excited to play it. Be right back. Okay, Entity. Crunchy says you should be. Winky. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Crunchy. Okay. I don't know. So, here we go. All right. Are we running it? We, we are, are running, running it. it. Here we go. You have a problem. You're out of work. And the government is threatening to cut off your benefits. Don't worry. Oswald Mandy's will help you. He'll help everybody. Mm -hmm. Once his dreams of resurrecting an ancient kingdom are realized, nobody will be spared his benevolence. I already like it, Crunchy. In this it's visual fun. novel adventure, you must outwit drugged-up zombies, genetically modified monstrosities, seductive sisters, and one very sadistic secretary Ooh. in order to prevent a dark and terrifying future for mankind. Mm. Oh, and get to the pub quiz in time because your mate Dave won't stop nagging you about it. <laughs> Update. Oh, gosh. There was a soft lock bug if you asked Elf to get you out of here. This is now fixed. Oh, okay. Cool. Glad you know it. Are you, where are you going? Where are you going? You're going down the page. The game is up there. A usual gameplay from 
We all thanks to the creators of the game, yes. Yes, okay. Yeah, it's okay, we're back. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you gotta set it free up. Free to download, too. Yeah, it is free to download. Alright, go, go. Oh, am Show I actually us. playing? You are playing. Oh, yeah. Yes, here we go. Alright. Welcome to the Bunny Hill Horror. This is an adventure choosing graphic novel game in which you advance by choosing options below this text. Your somewhat meager inventory is displayed by the icons above which will flash whenever they can be useful. Once you've had a good check, ring the bell to let the bus driver know you're done. You've arrived at your stop. It's time to get off. Okay, so there's the items so you can touch them and use them. Okay. Um, ah, you're playing the itch version. Now, the game jolt one, that's probably good. Oh. Not the game. Okay, so he's glad that we're playing the itch version, not okay. the. Yeah, I was gonna jolt. say, is the uh, other one the not suitable for work? Cause no, it... no, he's just got two versions. Oh, okay. I was gonna. But I thought one was, like, not suitable for work version. Yes, it is. Okay. No. Well, I'm assuming that it's not that bad. Okay. I was gonna say. Uh, America! America Co. Buses! You'll get buzzes from our buses! <laughs> Week oh, saver. That's good. Valid North Standingshire. Oh, that's good. Except we're not valid. <laughs> Twitch might disagree. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Butter true. informs you in no uncertain terms that your friendly local employment office have put themselves out considerably to help you get this interview, and you'd better not present yourself badly, or your dull money will be cut off. I'm sensing a challenge there. The letter is more <laughs> coy about details such as what the work involves and what the salary will be. Simply giving you an interview date and time and contact name of Oswald Mandy's and the somewhat vague job description of research assistant. Hmm. Sounds exciting. Okay. What's my phone say? America! America go mobile phone. Your voice will go miles with our mobiles. I like it. Use this item <laughs> to check your messages wherever you it. like, or add cartoon dog ears to your selfies. The world's your oyster, or it would be if you had any credit. Mm-hmm. All right, we got uh, two messages here. We got Dave and Claire Bear. <laughs> I had so much fun making item props in this game. <laughs> I bet you did. I don't... Ah. Do not forget pub quiz... Isn't that you, Crunchy? I'm pretty sure that's Crunchy. I'm pretty right sure there. that's you, Crunchy. I play Dave. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was, <laughs> I was gonna like, say. Crunchy. That I recognize like you, Crunchy, from the previous game. Yes. All right. Weird rich guy is Quizmaster. Mm. Practice. Hurry up and fill up the interview. Okay. All right. Claire How Bear. spoopy is it? It's not really that spoopy. I don't think any. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't At think it's that. Crunchy. Spoopy. Congratulations, the girlfriend. Yes, there. <laughs> Good luck with your interview. Never give up. You can do it, Babs. Don't forget your bezies tonight when your rich and famous minds a double vodka. <laughs> I think it's a drunk girlfriend. All right, put phone away. It's a little spoopy at times. No one's going to run off screaming, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Crunchy, you didn't answer. Who was the girl? Or is it just a, an image that you commandeered? Nah. <laughs> Don't want to commit to anything here? <laughs> Reader. Uh, you step <laughs> off the bus with the same feeling of gloom and inevitable. Just deviant art stock. Nah. Uh, wishful thinking, huh, Crunchy? Mm. What are you sneezing for back here? <laughs> She's Stupid. got the sneezies back You step there. off the bus with the same feeling of gloom and inevitable defeat that you always experience in these situations. Man. Thanks, you say to the driver. You merely registers your cheap suit, grunts, and drives off with the three elderly ladies who compromise... Who comprise the only remaining yeah. passengers this this far on the edge of town? You attempt to whistle a cherry tune, but this gets drowned out by the wind. Well, that's sad. At least there's no <laughs> doubt that you're in the right location. There can't be too many castles in these parts. You cross a small wooden bridge over the stream that runs along the base of the hill and sigh as you gaze up at the monstrosity. Well. Time to get this over with. You look up to take strength from the cosmos, and the cosmos responds with the first drops of rain. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. What did Crunchy say? He says it's difficult using real life friends. They get fussy about their characters. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, plus, if you're being put plus in the game, then you get in that to that whole like stuff with giving permission yeah. and all that crap and. 
It's honestly worth it to use the stock photos. Yeah. Okay, right, so where are we going? Are we going to walk north? Just up turn back and give up. <laughs> walk west along the stream, walk east along the stream, or turn back. You do whatever you want, Coco. As we found out before, we're going to die a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't want to fall out with anyone. Yeah. yeah. Understandable. Yep. Yeah. Very true. Make it good, happen, Coco. Good decision making there, Crunchy. Why just turn back? <laughs> As if by magic, a serious-looking man dressed in leather now stands on the bridge which you first crossed. His gaze lingers on an unremarkable spot several yards away from you, making you think that you are very much the subject of his attention and that he's unlikely to grant any favors. Coco, don't put that there. Don't worry. It's going to fall. It's fine. Approach Just me. give it over here. It's fine. It's okay. You approach the leather-clad man and he nods at you. Nice day for it, he says. Uh, talk to man. We're going to talk to you, buddy. How's it going? All right, says the man. My name's Robert. Friends call me Big Bad Bob. Oh, no, not him. <laughs> it's a bit of a joke, but laughter makes the world go round. That's what I say. I'm head of security around these parts. My name's... You begin? <laughs> I know who you are, and I know you've got an interview now. Well, sir. So why not scuttle up on up the hill? It wouldn't do to keep old Ozzy waiting. Yeah. Uh, I guess go north uphill. He told uh, us to go uphill. Go ahead and allow that, Coco. Don't worry, there's no offer sexual favors option this time. Oh, really? Darn that it! That was the highlight! Darn it, man! Crunchy, what are you doing? I think that is one of the most viewed clips on our uh, channel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is. There's no path up the hill, or and your best, smartest shoes prove to be hazardous companions on the muddy quest. You just keep get keep your balance from up tenth, up teenth, the up teenth slip, and then notice the view of the town's suburbs, which flickers a spark of joy within you. Less welcoming is the sight of the man standing on the bridge, who's dressed in black and doesn't look as though he has any plans to move. Well, Metal fence nice. to your east doesn't look welcoming either. That's fun. Hey. Hey, I'm clearly slipping. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, doesn't look welcoming so, either. Uh, so you go I like your streams because I have no idea which words don't travel beyond the UK. <laughs> hey, we like understanding that too. Yeah, I mean... I understood upteenth. Upteenth? Upteenth. Yeah. It means a bunch. Yeah. We have that over here in the U.S. Yes, we do. And I think the dog is playing with the trash can out there. Probably. Uh, north of the hill. Are we going to continue up the hill? Or are we going to, like... I don't know. Let me see what's going Go down doing. the hill. Pick a direction, go, go. I remember Squiffy. Yeah. We, we do not use Squiffy over here. <laughs> Never heard of that word before in our lives. <laughs> you were the first one to introduce us to that. <laughs> uh, you reach the top. Panting and muddy but feeling a real sense of achievement as Bunny Hill Castle looms above you. You think you see a figure through the open arched doorway. All right, so let's, I guess, enter the castle because that's where we're going. Oh, hello there. Ugh. You should. Yes, yes. Well, now we have, now it's like permanently in our vocabulary, so. What? Squiffy. What's that? Oh my gosh, you don't remember Squiffy from the last game? You're crazy, man. You enter an antechamber to be greeted by a besuited woman sat behind a desk. Oh, you can you have a letter that you can oh, yeah. use. But you gonna read? Uh -huh. You've certainly had better greetings, you consider, as she looks you up and down for an uncomfortably long time. Service entrance is round the side, she hisses before returning to her paperwork. Two things strike you as odd about the room. One is how secure it is. Uh, the only way beyond the woman is cut off by a hefty-looking bolted door. Mm -hmm. The second curiosity is a gold nameplate on the desk, which reads Daisy Fluffington. Ooh, Fluffington. Fluffington. <laughs> uh, how's it going, Daisy? <laughs> she regards you with a look of pure hate. That's Miss to you. Okay, how's it going, Miss Fluffington? Just Miss, she snaps. Daisy shuts her eyes well. and takes several deep breaths. Remember, she continues, I'm the one who decides whether you get this job or whether your dull, scrunching money gets cut off. 
and a sinister smile appears. I really hope you do get it. Oh boy, she is, uh, she is friendly. I see, she says, taking your letter and checking it against a sheet of paper. You're sure she's just chosen at random? Well, I suppose you're a general caliber. Caliber? Caliber. caliber. <laughs> Okay. Oh, um, applicants, applicants, the oh, employment gosh. ministry seems to be shoveling on us these days. I don't think that's how you spell caliber over here. No. Now, if you'd just like to surrender your mobile or tablet or cloud or whatever idiot machines your kind carries these days, we shall proceed. There's a bin the here. Then you can follow me inside. Okay. Um. What is this place? Let's By this, this place, is. you of course mean Bunny Hill Castle, do you not? She waits for you to answer and interrupts you as soon as you open your mouth. It's a beacon of hope to us all, a lighthouse in this sordid and corrupt country. It may be new, but will soon become the past and the future combined. Daisy's de declamation ends with her arms outstretched for several seconds as if awaiting a round of applause. <laughs> you cough politely and think of something else to do. <clears throat> oh, it's very jingly at your end. I knew this would be a festive stream. Yes. Well acted. Yes. Thank you. Thank yes. you. <laughs> We've got the jingly a, uh, is a jingly ball that our dog is playing with. I think it's a cat ball, isn't it? It is. She loves cat toys. I, I don't know. Well acted. It. Well acted. So you mm -hmm. outstretched your arm and I coughed. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, okay, so uh, we'll ask who uh, Mr. Mendez is. Mr. Mendez is a great man. He is the bedrock of this community, a man of the people and a true visionary. He, you should consider it an immense privilege to be working for him, and even if it would be an extremely low role. All right. I should be voice acting this character. Um... So I lost my option to put my phone in the bin. Uh, you walk away with an unpleasant lady. Decli decided that you have other business to attend to. Or maybe you should just want to be away from her. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go back in. You re-enter the castle. Uh, Daisy mulls over her paperwork and glances briefly and coldly in your direction. Okay. So, do uh, I have to do this again? Where I click this? Okay. I see, blah, blah, right. blah. So, surrender ah, you'll phone. have to use the letter again. Daisy has a very short memory. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. I was going to say, I was wondering. I like. It seemed you, like you I had Surrender to my phone is a question. Throw away phone is an action. Okay, so surrender my phone. Is there an echo in here, perhaps? She asks. Looking around, or are you not quite capable of understanding basic instructions? Because even our pet ahem, dogs can manage that. Yeah. Will Can't I get it. it back? For what purpose? She asks. To watch amusing cat videos? To play the latest Sonic Brothers game? Yep, that's exactly No doubt, why. because it helps you with all your intellectual pursuits, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Well, all the education you so clearly lack, you'll receive from Miss Mandy's. All right, cool. Okay, I'll throw my phone away. <laughs> Very good! Then we shall begin. Daisy opens a drawer and waves numerous sheets of paper vigorously in the air. This is your application form. The official government approved form. It complies with the Interior Ministry's guidelines, gender equality, and data protection protocols. The Declaration of Helsinki, and probably the Warsaw Bloody Pact. Goodness. Now which gender do you identify with? Are you male, female, transgender, non-binary, or do you simply not wish to disclose such information? <laughs> she rips the sh up the sheets and makes a show of examining another. Disabilities oh are you gosh. dyslexic? Dyslexic? Did you? Did your daddy never love you? D are you colorblind, <laughs> gluten intolerant, or just a complete dunce who couldn't find your oh with your bottom ends? You're so. We get brownie points for giving you the job you don't deserve. Isn't that nice and progressive? Let's keep it civil instead, shall we? She scrunches up all but one sheet of paper and lays this in front of me. What is your name? Wow. Okay, that is a lot of paperwork. <laughs> I like writing Daisy. You can just be as horrible as you like. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> right, Pat? <laughs> right, Pat McGuire? Yes! Right, Pat McGuire! <laughs> 
Very good, says Daisy. And then her eyebrows narrow. Oh, I see we have a comedian. I used to be a school mistress once. I know oh, how to deal whoa. with undesirables then. And I know how to deal with them now. She approaches you holding a ruler when you notice another figure who has entered the room. Her eyes follow yours and her matter instantly changes. Um. This is the new applicant, sir. Daisy's voice lo loses its razor edge and takes on a breathy tone. <sighs> you know another of the employment ministries of Rose. Excellent. The new arrival's voice is deep and silken, and he has gleam in his eyes as he walks over and lays a hand on your shoulder. It's I'm always a pleasure to welcome new arrivals into <laughs> our happy team. Yes, is that right, Daisy? <laughs> Yes, we're happy. <laughs> First death. <laughs> you look like a good, trustworthy local sort. We must show you the ropes, Miss Fluffington. Would you lock up, please? Of course, sir. Um, so what is the safe way? Hello be? there, Seth! Hey, how's it going, Hey, Seth? Josh and Coco. I see. <laughs> If we I need to act in the future, you will stream. both be top of the list. All right, Thank you, sounds Crunch. good. I would love to voice your actors. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could see that. <laughs> You'd have way too much. Oh, I would. You're led through a round torchlit corridor into a stately parlor which smells of sawdust and paint. While unopened boxes give the sense of new space waiting to be filled, despite this, the tastes are very old-fashioned. Mm. As if re reading your mind, the man begins, The old and the new both have much to learn, and from each other they do they not. My company has come a long way through advances in communication, database management, and pharmaceuticals. But what does it all mean if the values of the past are forgotten? Mm -hmm. Chivalry, class, breeding, mm -hmm. these cannot be lost. I was bred for success. But I still find time to host my quizzes at the local tavern. Whoa! Who's this guy? With the okay. serfs is what keeps a true leader down to earth. Uh huh. Fraternizing, yes. It's yes, fraternizing. Yes, to have mm -hmm. fun. Yes. <laughs> On the wall hangs a painting while a newspaper lies on the table by the gentleman. Um. So, uh, Seth, the this game Crunchy is the creator. Yes. Crunchy, Crunchy is, is the, the creator, creator of the game, game that we're playing. It's a text-based choose-your-own-adventure. I feel like we should have some kind of safe word. Hey, hey, garlic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Did you guys see that? I, I don't know. No, if you guys no one looked at the on NSFW Discord. in the oh, Discord. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no. All right. So if anyone wants to understand that joke, <laughs> click exclamation point Discord. Go to that Discord and go to the NSFW chat. There, the there is a future trend. Choose your own adventure. Yeah. We'll replace Battle Royals. I yeah. agree. These I agree. are actually a lot of fun. Examine painting. Leave room. So what do you want me to do? Can Surf, I come <laughs> back, please? Do you fancy this? Uh, you don't. I don't fancy this. I'll just be off. Surfs. Read newspaper. Hmm, I'll examine the painting. You wander up to the painting to get a closer look. I do beg your pardon, says Ozzy Art Mendez. Do you believe you're a guest in my castle, free to pursue you by valuable artworks or trinkets? Your understanding is erroneous. Now go and attend your duties. But I don't want to. I want to read the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be informed, sir, by yeah. the newspaper. <laughs> I cannot believe what I'm seeing, says Oswald. Who appears, uh, who appears to have no desire to share his newspaper with you? If this insubordination continues, then your lackadaisical attitude will need to be beaten out of you with this cane I have in my hand. So so, Second death. <laughs> so, uh... I mean, is that I, a surprise? I, I, I don't remember what you want me to do, so can you tell me what you want me to do? For now, your job will be very simple. The household will attend the local tavern where I will be hosting the quiz and making a very important announcement. Your first task will be to keep an eye on the castle till we return. That is not a good Maybe. idea. Maybe. He vaguely <laughs> waves an arm. Sort out the library, or I'll lend feed our pets. Yes, that should do. But you never mentioned a night shift. I am meant to be going to the pub quizzes, too. 
Uh-huh. That's you. But you never mentioned a night shift. I'm yeah. meant to be going to the pub quiz, too. Yeah. Well, I can quickly solve your problem. It's invitation only. Aww. So you would not be allowed in. What? However, you do not... You do have an invitation from the Ministry of Employment to do what I tell you to. All right, fine. So uh, we need to get him to invite us to the quiz. Yeah. Sadly, there aren't many dies, ways to die in this game. I tried not to be so cruel as before. Oh, oh come but on. I, but we love Everyone will game. enjoy you making it. a it cruel was great. death. <laughs> can I have my phone back? I want my phone back. You I mean, to, can I need you my, have I need to my, my phone back? What? You mean, can you have my phone back? You yeah. do not, did not purchase the phone outright, but hired it on a rolling lease. It is a Mercier Co phone. America Co phone. Mercia. <laughs> <laughs> really, game. Co phone. Really, come on. And I'm the king of Mercia. America! It's America Co phone, and I am the king of America! Yeah, there you go. Honestly, <laughs> you can always rely on the young not to bother reading the terms and conditions. Nah, who does that? Alright, serfs, what's that? There's no shame in being a serf, however, too many of your kind fall victim to the bombardment of lies from the television and the internet. You think you'll make millions without lifting a finger. Then you end up as a benefit scroungers. Ladies of the night, or one of the drug-addled zombies that shame mm. our city centers and give lie to the promises of the modern world. Mm, that sounds exciting. <laughs> but you're different, I can tell. You'll be a loyal soldier and will take pride in you, your cause. You've joined myself, Oswald Mandy's, and America Co. Mur- at the very exciting time. We're making big changes, not just to keep shareholders happy or to improve our media buzz, but to change the very tide of history. That's crazy. This is the plot twist. He's the proven American king. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. America! Beep, yeah! <laughs> Go right. say. So, I guess uh, I need to leave the room. Uh, I'm assuming I that so. I need to leave yeah. the room. Yeah. Bet you didn't even know you had one. Yeah, yeah really. no. I apparently. didn't know we had a king. I didn't know we had one either. You're in the corridor which circles around the ground floor of the castle. Some of the rooms don't look quite ready yet, but the ones that do have gold plates on the wooden doors, a spiral staircase leads, leads up to the first floor, but it descends is block until the builders can finish the job. Mm. A painting adds some color to the torchlit walls. Mm. Gotta add that color. Examine painting. Mm, let's examine that painting. Oh, the description lovely. beneath the painting reads, Head of Angels by Joshua Reynolds, 1786. Remember that. It'll be at the quiz. I'll never remember that. Heads okay. of Angels by Joshua mm-hmm. Reynolds, 1786. Uh, chamber, parlor, library, or stairs? The climb stairs takes us back up to the room he's in. Yes. So Library... Or parlor. Antechamber's where Daisy is. Yes. I won't give any clues. All I right, know. Sounds good. I really know. I want your clues, Crunchy. Head of Angels. Joshua right. Reynolds, 1786. There All are right. five angels. Are there five angels? Oh, there are five angels. Okay. Uh, let's go in the library, because I like books. Books are great. The library appears to be a work in progress featuring a bookcase containing a single slim leather volume which somehow stands upright in the middle of the shelf. On the floor are three cardboard boxes on which is open. A painting which sits on the foot of the well, wall, partially waiting to be hung up, and a glass front frame containing two newspaper clippings. Ooh. The book is definitely a secret passage. Clearly. All right, examine boxes, because we like boxes. The only open box contains a selection of books which are typed note which reads, Dear Mandaz, thank you for your purchase of Insta Library, real leather bound books, all coated with wispy gray dust effect for the genuine appearance of classy enterprise. Oh my gosh. No lawyer, study, private, medical, practice, or upmarket gentleman's club is complete without it, now containing multi sized volumes, a lorem ipsum filler text for those hard, hard to fill gaps. gaps. Oh gosh, that's great. <laughs> all right, uh, let's read a book. Why not? You take a volume of poetry and flip it open at random. It reads, She left the web, she left the loom. She made three paces from the room. She saw the water lily bloom. She saw the helmet and the plum. 
She looked down to Camelot, out flew the web and floated wide. The mirror cracked from side to side. The curse came upon me, cried the Lady Charlotte. Oh, the Lady, Lady Charlotte, Charlotte. Yeah, okay. 1832. Uh, so I take it, we'll have to remember that. Crunchy. The Lady <laughs> Charlotte. Crunchy. Uh, let's see. Read more at, no. Uh, let's examine the bookshelf. Uh, the only book in this place is Lady Charlotte. With colored writing, which reads what? White and Sewage <laughs> Committee Minutes, 1968 to 1969. Of course, this would be the first choice for any self respecting library, you think. Of course. Examine newspaper cuttings. That must be important. You pursue one of the newspaper clippings that takes pride of place in a glass coated picture, right? It is from America Sentinel, mm -hmm. dated from Mark! last week. <laughs> The much-anticipated Bunny Hill Castle yesterday opened its doors as a new hub of high-tech industry, culture, and leadership. Uh, upon the hilltop, with its commanding views of North Stanishire, celebrated entrepreneur and philanthropist Oswald Mandes was in high spirits as he greeted the visiting di dignitaries and public supporters. All right. It gives me great pride to declare this wonderful building open to all, he declared. No longer will a fair region languish in the shadows, but now will be a beacon of shining brightly on the international stage. Proceedings took a sour turn as a small number of virtue-signaling protesters tried to interrupt the occasion. Fortunately, security personnel and their dogs were on hand to oh met, gosh. meet out justice. Oh, gosh. To celebrate the building's launch, the America Sentinel is giving away tickets to next weekend's celebratory pub quiz at the Clayton Tavern, usually uh, one available to friends of Miss Mandy's, and then see our job selection for new handyman, domestic, and researchers as positions based in the castle. All right, cool. Okay, so... Paragoggy! Uh, hey, hey, Paragoggy! How's it going? Uh, all of these backgrounds are from Tamworth Castle, by the way. I went around there with my camera. Oh, that's oh, awesome! Really? That's really cool. That is cool. Paragonkey, we're Maybe playing just... Crunchy's game. Crunchy in the chat made right, the game. Let's go into the castle corridor and go to the parlor. You turn to the parlor to find Oswald lounging on the sofa. He reads a broadsheet newspaper and regards you from the corner of his eye. A painting hangs on the wall. I see. Yes. Paragonkey, I see. All right, so let's uh, leave room again. So, we need to go... We want I to know it's Paragonkey! Right? I thought it was Brogonkey. Yeah, Brogonkey! It's Brogonkey. Yeah, Brogonkey. Brogonkey! Yeah. Paragonkey played applause. It I didn't, didn't hear it. The sound effect. I don't know what's going There's on There's something it. going on There's in There's a bug happening effects. with it. You're in the upstairs corridor of the Bunny Hill Castle. The doors are marked with gold plates. Yes, sir! Daisy Fluffington... Something eel something Mandes. <laughs> Yalfed Mandes. Yalfed. And Ustner Alf Mandes. Mandes. The staircase leads further up, but again, this will need more work before it will can be climbed. Another painting decorates this area. Look at the painting. Alright. Uh Okay, we're going to yeah, oh I my played goodness. oof! Crunchy Violence. played oof. Played oof. Oof! <laughs> And I make the sound effect. You don't need to work on your medieval pronunciations. Yeah. Don't know how that's gonna go, Crunchy, but okay. <laughs> Yelf and dire. Osmiar. <laughs> tormented by demons. XD. This guy tormented di by demons. <laughs> okay, from 1790. <laughs> Tarus tormented by Alright, we're gonna go in Daisy's room, because why the heck not? Look, another painting. Yes. Lots of paintings everywhere. With some trepidation, you enter Daisy's room to be greeted with a clay spell. Dave, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You're making Sorry. me yawn more, man. What are you doing? With a cloying smell of sickly perfume. Hundreds of eyes gaze at you as you enter, which you quickly attribute to a sizable doll collection that lines the walls. Oh, gosh. The rest of the room is also a mess, with clothes strewn over the floor and bottles of pills on top of the dresser table and surrounding carpet. Mmm, so she likes pills, huh? You a pill pusher. You check the bottles. The, the, there are potions and lotions for everything from dermatitis to iron deficiency to insomnia. 
One bottle that might come in useful is labeled Dreamy Sleepy Nighty Snoozy Loozy. <laughs> snoozy Snooze. Hey, snooze Snooze. Take sleeping potion. Sure, why not? <laughs> Wait a minute here. I didn't know there were potions in this. Whoa! <laughs> as, right. as you pock, pocket the sleeping drought, you hear a rapid footsteps and a loud bang from behind you. This probably isn't good. What in the name are you doing in my room? Demands Daisy. Well, I got lost, then you begin, but Daisy is an interested and grabs your arm, dragging you to the door. First jump scare. Yeah! Get out now! I will stay here for the present to ensure that you do not violate my area again. She pushes you out and slams the door in your face. At least you got the potion you consider. Okay. Cool. You look so mangled. She looks very angry. And mangled. Yes. You doing all right there, uh, Crunchy? Daisy? I really feel. I really. Crunchy. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Crunchy. You can check the potion if you want. Is it gonna like make me drink it? Crunchy. I really feel like I know what the NSFW version is. First off, that those clothes they got that lady there in the in the bedroom looked like it was put on top of another image. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know about this. <laughs> what hey, did I walk into Bernie! here? Hey, Bernie! How okay. you going? So, uh, Brian, I can explain. <laughs> no, Brian, he can't explain. <laughs> yes, I did have to draw that yoga top on. <laughs> <laughs> I figured as much. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> no. Bernie. No paragogy. No. <laughs> Did I call you the wrong name again? Know, <laughs> I... It's Brian. That's right. It is Brian. I call him Hello, Bernie. Mr. Sanders. I... <laughs> I'm sorry, Brian. I keep seeing your name, and I want to say Bernie. <laughs> no, it's a good guy. Dang it. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Brian. This, Brian, this is the X-rated game ID <laughs> strap. <laughs> no, this is the G. Okay. This is the G-rated game. Sweet. <laughs> yes, okay. How is the hand today, Brian? Yeah, how's it doing? Did you have your surgery already? Yeah. Or In did case you were wondering, like, Brian. After Christmas. No, he's already had the surgery. Did he already have the surgery? Yeah, he has pain pills. Oh, yeah, that's right. Remember, he said he got that's good stuff? That's right, he did. He had it on Friday. No. He had it on Wednesday. It was like sometime here. He had it Wednesday. Okay. Pretty sure it was Wednesday. Ooh. Goodness gracious. Are you mind hitting me up with the NSFW <laughs> version? It's on his Twitter page. Well, isn't it on... Uh... It's Well, it's on his Twitter page. You can, There's a link on P Crunchy Fried Games' uh, Twitter page. Newgrounds, yeah. I was going to say it's on Game Joel. Yeah, but there's a link to it on his Twitter page. Yeah, if you oh, just go okay. to Crunchy Fried Games' uh, Twitter page. Alright, okay. <laughs> now, I'm going to click this. No, don't click it. No. Oh. The sleeping drop found okay. in Daisy's Fluffington's bedroom is a branded dreamy sleepy nighty snoozy snoozies. Snooze. And apparently banned in most European countries. Oh, oh okay. Sorry I had to all reload. Right. Got wrapped, worked back like 10 seconds of time. Hey, that's all right, Brian. <laughs> uh, that's okay. All right. Uh, okay, so you enter the room and immediately jump. I'm sorry you began. It was just, just her. The semi-naked woman sat on the floor. You really had to put semi-naked. <laughs> <laughs> this is a joke from Irish sitcom Father Ted. Ah, uh, okay. We do not know of Irish sitcoms. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we Americans, we don't have that. <laughs> Sadly. I mean, we do have some European shows, I think, over here. Yeah, yeah, but... but I, okay, semi-naked woman sat on the floor. Keeps, you should watch it. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Keep still just long enough to let your discomfort grow and then grins. Ooh. Meditation, she says. It's very stressful living in the modern world. Mm -hmm. That's what Daddy always says. Mm -hmm. Who is Daddy? Is it her... Mm -hmm. I hope it's her actual dad. Mm-hmm. Daddy. She then puts Daddy. on a comically deep voice. <laughs> Mark my words. We'll have machines to think for us. Next, we'll have machines to live for us. Silly, really. Although, maybe he has a point. Anyway, I'm Elf. Thanks for stumbling in. I expect you're with the KKK. I do. 
The KKK? Uh, is it getting hot in here, or is it just me? I need my fan. <laughs> it definitely you is. You can tell by yes. her clothes. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's, uh... <laughs> yes, that can be a bit confusing, can it? The other three research assistants are called Kevin, Karen, and Caddy, so the KKK. Clever, isn't it? Please tell no. me your name begins don't. with a K. Actually, no, don't. That would spoil it. KKKK isn't a thing. <laughs> Come to think of it, it's been a long time since I've seen any of them. Still, I suppose Daddy has them hard at work somewhere or other. Uh huh. So I'm assuming that th she is the daughter of uh, uh, Ma Mr. Mendez. Yeah, I'm assuming so. Uh, tell me about whoever this person is. Oh, oh hey, we got a phone. Sweet. You mean Sissy's Faye? You mean Sissy? Sissy Faye. Sissy Faye. Sissy Faye. I don't know what happened to her. She looks nervously at you as your speech speeds up. I mean, she has here the one minute, and I'm sure she's around, and I'm sure she hasn't run off, and she was acting a bit secretive, and maybe she's run off. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. You're making show of breathing slowly through your nose, and she copies you. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. She stammers. Meditation. That's right. <laughs> I know she's around here somewhere. If you find her, could you take a photo and send it to me? Yes. A photo I can send of... you a picture of your Let sister. us take a photo of you. <laughs> just for posterity's sake. You know, just to have it. You know, just to I'd love it. to, you say, but that fluffy woman took my phone. Fluffy woman, she said. She laughs. I like that. Not to worry. You can have Daddy's decked phone. He's going to host the pub quiz tonight, so he won't take it. He likes to pretend he doesn't have a phone himself, silly man. Hit me up on 12169. When you need to. All right, cool. Wait, do we need to remember that one two one six nine? One two. I mean, I'm assuming it's probably in the phone somewhere. We'll the phone. Elf one two one six. Oh yeah, see right here. An internal phone that allows you to contact anyone inside the castle only, or maybe do if you have had their numbers. Worryingly, this one appears to belong to Oswald Mandes. Yes. Great. Miracle. Bleep yeah. <laughs> one two one six nine. Yes. Thank you, Paragon. Yes. All right. Uh, can you get me out of here? Get please, you out of here? I please. can barely remember the code for the front door. I usually just ask to Daisy. If you do make it outside, get my good books. Get in my good books. Mm. Oh. Oh, but good books. 8675309 equals Easter, Easter egg. Yeah. Now, wait a minute, Paragonky. That was one of my old hospital deck phones. Ah, numbers. okay. Yeah. All right. Interesting. I don't think we have uh, decked phones over here I don't think in we the know. USA. I don't think I've uh, never seen If you seen do make them. it outside and get in my good books, I might let you leave Bunny Hill for a couple of hours. After all, I suppose I'm technically your boss now, aren't I? And that means you have to follow absolutely any order I give you until I'm satisfied. Uh-huh. This is very awkward. Approach her. Oh, don't. ah ha ha she says, you can stay in the doorway for now, or I'll get on the decked phone and Big Bad Bob will straight up here. Can't have just anybody wandering in while I'm so helpless. Uh-huh. That's only for my special friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Is it getting more hot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Approach! <laughs> Approach! <laughs> Paragogy. Keep I that, keep really that teenager blood now. inside your body. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's, I guess, go in her sister's room. All right, you enter the room. <laughs> what is happening? Paragonki is uh, going a little crazy. No! <laughs> <laughs> you enter the room with a curiously named... Approach! Sister. The walls are sparse and everything is tidy to the point where it doesn't appear this bedroom has, is even being lived in. A bed and a bedside table comprise the only two pieces of furniture in the room. Crunchy wants it to, though. Think about the viewers. The viewers. I know what happens. <laughs> I'll say nothing. <laughs> oh, gosh, Crunchy. The NSFW right. version. Yes. All right, examine bedside table. Oh, hey, look. You, you, you pull out a section of the bedside table to discover two photographs of a pretty blonde girl. Presumably in her 20s, a ballpoint pen and a book of cryptic crossword puzzles that is largely completed. Besides this, the drawer is bare. 
Alright, let's examine the bed. Let's examine that bed. Deciding that there must be more to this room than total sterility, you check the bed without much hope. The sheets are silky smooth, the counter pan Ooh. is clean, and you spot something poking out of the duvet. It's the folding sheet of paper with handwritten message. Read the message. All right, let's read that bad boy. See? Crunchy dots. Oh. <laughs> Dear sheet of A4 linen paper. A4 lined paper. I know this has not got the same ring to it as it's Mr. A4. Ooh. But I had to burn my real diary. That fluffy lady has been poking and prodding around in this room. I know it. It feels like the whole house are closing ranks on me. Even the perv Bob hasn't been trying Ooh, to get into my knickers lately. Oh, man. Wait, is Crunchy a dude? Yes, Crunchy is a dude. Yes, Crunchy. I'm every, every gender, gender at once. <laughs> Crunchy well, there you have it. There you have if it. If you had seen the previous game, or Dave, <laughs> he's a dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but or is he? According yeah. to Crunchy, he's every gender at once. Ah, uh, dang. <laughs> yes. Wait, exactly. paragonky. Mind blowing. Listen, why do you want Crunchy to be a chick? <laughs> why? <laughs> Don't be weird, paragonky. <laughs> uh. They know I'm closing, close to discovering the truth, and I'm scared that might happen before I do. Father keeps a dignified silence as ever, and Sis has vanished so far from into whatever weird and wonderful world she lives in. Aw, oh, Paragonkey, I don't. Look what you did to poor Paragonkey. Oh, you're fine. Apologize to him. I actually am fine. That was a selfie. Really crunchy. <laughs> So you had to draw a top on yourself? Go, go, quit it. <laughs> Making me sad. That is, that is good. I like it. I like it, Crunchy. <laughs> you can... <laughs> Could you have just worn one? <laughs> ah, right, you found the hole in my argument. <laughs> uh, oh, gosh. Uh, whenever she... Okay, uh, vanish into whatever weird and wonderful world she lives in. Whenever she's not flashing her tits at anything with a pulse, of course, that she's too unprecedented to trust. Even Len, he's a friend. But he he's might fold friend. under pressure. Oh, man. Tonight I'm going down to the crypt to find out what their stupid America plans really are. I need to know what happened to the KKK <laughs> and what lies in store for the next research assistant. If anyone else is reading this, that means I haven't been able to return and destroy this message. If you want to follow me, you'll need to be smart. So remember to say aloud, Oh, for one to hate. Okay. It seems the whole household has been infected with madness, and I'm not going to succumb to it. Isn't that right, Mr. A4? Love, Faye, you decide to keep the improvised diary for future reference. All right, okay. So we That's are all I heard in the background. Time. Wait. What? What? Tits. I meant to remove that word from this verse. <laughs> That's all I heard in the background of my game. <laughs> then the KKK. So tits and KKK. We have a real story going on. Paradise. I know. It's <laughs> go ahead and allow that. Go, go. Yeah, yeah. The KKK is what they call Karen, Katie, and Kevin of the Castle Workers. Yes. My goodness. We gotta get flagged for the KKK. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no. That's not what it means. Okay. All right. Go downstairs. Right, go downstairs. The mods have checked five of my messages so far. <laughs> exactly, Crunchy. <laughs> that means you're doing a good game. It's all right. Your game is great. Okay, all right, read the so letter. So where are we going to go? We already read the letter. Yeah, but you... Yeah. Yeah, see? We already yeah, read yeah. the letter. Uh, finish the job. Any dang right! <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... so... The antechamber, the girl isn't there anymore because she was in her bedroom. Yes, Okay. Uh, no worries, Crunchy. It's VIP right now. <laughs> oh, uh, you tentatively enter Daisy's domain, preparing your explanation for why you were in her bedroom. Luckily, there's no need as her chair is vacant and the desk had been tidy away, only leaving the crossword book. The front door is locked with a combination lock, which has four digits. Hey, Steph! How's it going? Steph! <laughs> What game, is what game is Retro playing? I saw he's playing a game. Is he playing a game? He is playing something under the Retro category, as are we. Oh, I was going to say, doesn't he always play something under the Retro category? Yeah, but usually has a name. Ah, oh, that's true. 
Okay, the crossword only has one clue <laughs> filled in. Ten across reads breeze. Angels and demon nymphs and queens. You rip out a pocket daisy's note, wondering if it would be of any use. All right, cool. All right, all right, so... Oh, uh, no, you need to go back to that photo. Angels, demons, and names and queens. Where was it? I don't know where it was. It was in... It was here. No, that's not it. What? It's not it. Oh, okay. Uh, so let's see. Parlor? Is that where it was? Examine the painting. That is not it either. No. Okay. Uh, leave room. So let me see this. Okay, close. So you need the combination see. lock, so it's the date of that picture. Library. Library? Was it in the library? Okay. Are these the same pictures? Killians and the nymphs. That's the nymphs. Are these the same pictures that we saw? Crunchy? Uh, Are these the same pictures that we saw, Crunchy? Because I feel like okay, they're not. Go back to the picture. <laughs> this is a puzzle. I've had eight people PM me in Newgrounds asking for clues. So good luck. Okay, look at the thing. Look at the thing, Coco. Look at what thing? This? The, oh, yes. Angels and demons, nymphs and queens. So okay, this is so... Uh, nymphs and queens. Okay. Or this is nymphs, at least. Nymphs. J.W. Waterhouse. Okay. Hi Helios and the... There's a lot more you can do before then, though. How many digits? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, so let's return to Gasper. Look, look at actually, every, every painting. Look at. Let's actually go outside. So we came again. in here. Yeah, we looked at this picture. Yeah, return to Castle Corridor, so we need examine, to go Examine to... the painting first. Examine the painting first, Coco. Angels. Yeah. 1786. Yeah. But it says angels and demons. Nymphs and queens. Nymphs and the queen. So, there's a painting there of angels, but there's a painting up here... This painting is the demons, right? Yeah. Demons. 1790. Okay. Well, let's not worry about it. Maybe go outside. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Good question, Eddie. Yeah. Let's go outside because we haven't so, been out there. So, and how we, many? What also... is. There's a combination lock with four digits. Yeah, so try lock. So, there's four digits. Okay. So, let's just return to the court. Interesting. All right, so let's. No, actually, I wanted to go outside. So let's uh, go back to the answer. I think I might have got it. I think I might have figured it out. Did you get it already, man? Well, it's obviously not the dates. Well, it's obviously not. nothing to do with the name. I think it's the number of characters in the photos. Okay. Because there's four yeah. photos. Okay. All right. Crunchy's pretty quiet. Yeah, seventy ninety. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Open the crossword. Open the crossword. Open the crossword. Crossword. Only no, I think has she one. means this thing. Oh. Say. Okay. We could have rounded it. We could have rounded it. Well, that would Maybe be so. five to something something. It reads angels and demons, nymphs and queens. Because the the angels one didn't have a date on it. Well, neither did the nymph nymphs and the queen. Yeah. If it was five digits, I would say three ten eleven fifty seven. Yeah. Eleven. Okay. Yeah, but it's it's not. So let's see. Well, this so has that has five. five characters in it. So I'm assuming five would be the first. Five would be for the angels. Yes. 
Okay, so climb stairs. Examine painting here. There's three demons. But four in total. Yes. But so we'll say it's either three or four. Yeah. I'm assuming it's probably the demons, though. Probably, since it says the angels and demons and... Is there a painting in here? No. no. Was there, there was a painting in Daisy's room, wasn't there? But we don't need that one. We need the one in the library. And this has... The nymphs are one, two, three, four, five, six, but seven total. So it's either six or seven. Okay. All right. So is that four? That's three. That's three. What well, would be six one? Or actually, no. And what one queen. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, and one queen. Yeah, I was going to say. That's what I got. Enter the parlor. What was this painting? Yeah, queen. And one, two, three, four. So four or one. Yeah. Okay, so what now. What is happening? What are they say? So five, three or four, queen. six or seven, or one. Yes. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm going with. So let's go back here. Let's try the lock. Okay, so it's it do you remember what order it was, Coco? Yeah. So it's five, then the demons, which was three or four. So we'll do three first. Yeah. And then six. Six. If we're talking about the nymphs. Yeah. And then one if we're talking about the queen. One. Okay, so apparently that's. You try your best, it. but it failed to open. Okay. So then let's try four and six and one. Well, it would be four, seven, and four if we're counting everyone. No, that's not it. Hmm. Okay, so three, six, five. Five, four, seven, four. That's what I just did. Hmm. Dang. Okay, so look at the thing again. Look at the crossword again. Wait a minute. I'm going to try something. I don't know. So help me if that's it. <laughs> Nope. Okay. <laughs> I was going to try it because there's a little number down there. And I was like, wait, let me try. I'm sat here laughing evilly, by the way. <laughs> there's also these little, like, numbers down here. That can't be it, though. I think that's just the stock photo number. Oh, it could be. But I'm, like, sitting there looking at it like. Time to round numbers. Okay, so go back to the pictures. Okay. So here's the painting of the angels. That is definitely five angels. Yes. And there it's 1786. Yes. Angels. So enter parlor. Salmon painting. This is queen. And it's definitely one or five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. But we but did one or four one. last time. That's true. We did do one or four. Paragon says 1786. Are you writing on your hand? Yes. <laughs> Read the note again yeah, carefully. Okay. A note ripped from the page of Daisy Fluffington's abortive crossword attempt. It reads angels and demons, nymphs and queen. Wait, and are the we queen. supposed to add... So add five plus three, and then like six plus. Whatever. Yeah, but that doesn't give us num numbers. Or is it five plus four, and then? So wait, what did we do last nymphs time? Because there's five and nymphs the and the queen. queen. So one. 
I think we entered them wrong last time, Coco. What do you mean? So, Crunchy the says, Shoshi's like, duh, 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 duh. He's probably like, you guys are so dumb. <laughs> Angels and the queen. Yes. So it's one, queen. Yeah, queen. So one. So one is the last digit. Five is the first digit. Okay. Yeah. Six, 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 eight. Why six, 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 eight? Four, five. Okay. Five, three, six, one. I mean, we could try that. Yeah. Nope. Okay. It's so hard to judge your own puzzles. Yeah. What game is this? This Crunchy Fried Games in the chat made this game. What time is the stream going to tonight? Till we finish this game. The Bunny Hill Horror! Yes. Okay, so go back. Look at the note again. Angels and demons. Nymphs and the queen. So it's three, it's not four. So it's five, three. Six, one, right? Go back to the nymphs one and just make sure we have the count right. Which, where was that? The library? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. Five, three, seven, one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, one. Five, three, seven, one. All right, okay. I'm gonna go have a shower. Been sick today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Entity. Yeah, that stinks. Hopefully, I'll be back before it ends. Get well soon, Entity. If not, enjoy your Christmas. All right. You too, Entity. So... Fire Donkey 5371. You too, yes. 5371. Yay! I was right the whole time! Woo! Good job, guys. I broke the dumb code! <laughs> I think I would love this. Yeah, th this is actually fun. I always like Applause, crunchy yeah. Game. Crunchy. Crunchy made another game that we played on the chat too, in the in the channel too. It was called Witches and Warlocks and Witches Wizards and Swords. No, it was like Witches, Wizards, Broomsticks and something or something like that. Bandits. Yeah. Bandits and something. Swords. I mean Yes, I don't know why wait, I missed it. Wait, you missed what? No, no sound. He, she missed yeah. the applause. For some reason our Little okay. alert sound. So we broke working. the code. You don't get to know, Steph, what the code is. I broke it. I just deuced it. I figured it out. The code dot dot dot. Okay. Remembering the Kessel's Run. It was the number of the collection. characters in the photos. Yeah. You turn the wheels of the lock, it snaps open and falls onto the floor with a loud. It was click. the reason we had it wrong was I said it was six nymphs and not seven. Oh, okay. I'll try and replicate it. Clap, clap, clap. Hey, <laughs> wait, wait. There you go. There you go. Good job. The sound guys. effect worked. <laughs> All right. So, should we go inside the corridor or go outside? Because there's, like, other places we can go outside. Well, go ahead. So, let's go outside. Free from the confines of Buddy Hill Castle, you triumphantly take in the view across this neck of the Stanshire. Even the wind, gloom, and patchy rain didn't diminish your spirits. Well, not too much, anyway. Alright, so south down the hill. Retro like this game. We need to play this together. We'll do it! Yeah, there is an NSFW it. version too. Yes, there is. Twitch might not uh, appreciate it. That's not going to no, fly on fine. Twitch though. <laughs> but he would appreciate the other game too. Yes. Crunchy's like, please do. Yes, yes. Crunchy, play Crunchy's game. <laughs> if you go to twi Crunchy's Twitch page, or uh, Twitter page, he has both his games listed. Does he? Yes. Yeah. Okay. He has a website. You are not at the top, not at the bottom, but halfway up the hill. Possibilities lurk in every direction, except this one. Crunchy, then... post your social. I will tell Retro. I will tell Retro. All right. A bridge. PH? A man bridge lies. What do you mean, PH? Hill. A castle looms above the middle of, fence of the progress. And <laughs> progress cuts off. The <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to this PH question mark, question mark. Okay. Question mark. So, Question do mark. you want to go west clockwise around the hill, or do you want to go south? Uh, I don't care. 
South is gonna take you back toward the bridge. Oh well, yeah. What do you think? <laughs> okay, well, I'll go west clockwise. 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 That's, 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 that's you are halfway up the hill clockwise for the starting position you hear, but can't see signs of traffic while further down in the football pitch. Rudolph. Hey! Oh, thank you for the support. Steph wins here one sub gifted to Crunchy. Oh, gifted to me. Given three gift subs. Just popped out to make a, cr yeah. a cup of tea. Dang, Steph. Thank you, Steph. GG's, GG's. <laughs> That's very nice of you, Steph. Nargoggy, didn't we just gift you one for your birthday? I thought we did. Ooh, thanks. <laughs> You are Coco is working on new emotes, including Derp Games. Yes, I am. I'm actually working on it, and I'm almost done it, Paragonkey. So yeah. <laughs> Nexty. You are halfway up the hill clockwise from your starting position. You hear, but can't see signs of traffic. While further down is a football pitch. Yes. Yes! The woodland to the north and west is cut off by a simple wire. I fence. came up with an <laughs> idea. Yes, you did, Baragonki. Yes, yes you, yes, you did. The terms will be the same for the next marble stream, too. Yes. If you win, you get a shirt. If you lose to me, you all owe me emote suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> Which drives down to the southwest and seemingly right to the I top. need the and gingerbread kitty level. emote. A gingerbread kitty What emote? gingerbread kitty emote? What we have ginger a gingerbread kitty yeah, emote? I was going to say, we have a gingerbread I love marbles. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. lucky for you, Let's Steph. See. Let's climb over New Year's will be doing that. What happened? I don't know what happened. Yeah! I did you something. You get ready to scale the fence by holding onto the metal post, but then fly flying backwards, getting oh. your breath. It was electrified. It was electric fence. Uh, didn't feel the need to put up an electrocution hazard notice anywhere. Clearly, he's not the sort to go in for warnings. Well, clearly, we'll just climb over the fence Ah, the holiday, again, right? guys. All right, Paragog, you going for dinner, I see. Have <laughs> for, a good dinner. For reasons known only to yourself. You make your <laughs> mind up to touch the electric fence again. Your body, however, exercises its power of veto <laughs> over your feeble brain, and you simply stand with your hands a few inches away from the wire, shaking slightly. All right. Wait, hold <laughs> on. Did, you, did you add anything else? Wait, wait, wait. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Okay, no. No, nope, it's the same. <laughs> it's the same thing. Okay. So let's <laughs> I go like the grog. South downhill. You dip your tankard back into the grog. Yeah, you, you should. <laughs> <laughs> you get more. Alright, you descend <laughs> to the bottom of the hill to your football pitch that doubles as a swamp. If anything, uh. the land gets worse to the woods in the west. And your sad footwear isn't going to get you anywhere. An almost jumpable looking stream cuts off the south. All right, let's see. Almost let's jumpable. Go south past the stream. You gingerly edge your <laughs> way down the slope to the stream, take as long a run up as dare, and then fall on your butt in the mud. <laughs> At least nobody saw you, you think. But the sound of a man snorting with laughter in the, to the east suggests otherwise. So go to the east right. and see who this is. Oh, oh it's, hey, him. it's him. Bunny Hill is a real place in Stanishire, by the way. I took these photos there. Oh, oh that's wow. awesome. That's actually really cool, Grunchy. Geologically correct, then. Yes, it is geologically You return correct. to the bridge to see the man in a jack lounging by what you quickly realize to be your only exit. He whistles off key tune and has a languid, languid expression of someone who'd stay there all day if he has to. The stream runs from the east to the west. Let's approach him. You approach the leather clad man and he nods at you. Now he's neighbor and he says, so this All is right. the same thing. Yeah, let's talk to him again. Well, well, if it isn't our new roving research assistant. How can Big Bad Bob help you today? I'd like to leave for the pub quiz, you say? When I say, how can I help you, he begins, let me rephrase that. Actually, no. Just think of a syntax... Connotions. Connotations. Instead, <laughs> when a policeman calls you sir, is he going to treat you like he's your servant? When your partner tells you to do what you like, is that actually an invitation to go out on a vendor? <coughs> Meaning no. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's go south past Bob. The man presses your arms with just enough force to hold your progress. Think again, pal, Bob says. You've been here five minutes, and you're already disregarding orders. Your predecessors were never this disobedient, at least not very, for very, <laughs> very long. I see what you're <coughs> yes, you there you go. That's what you'd lie about. 
Ozzy wants me to go and help with the pub quiz. Yes, exactly. That's what he wants. Yes. Osby told me I needed to go and help with the pub quiz. Uh, you hope you sound convincing. Did he? Did he? Bob face is... Bob's face is a mask. Now, I don't believe that for three reasons. One, you're not in the car with him. Or, one, you're not in the car with him. B, he hasn't changed my orders to keep you here. And three, I'm not entirely brain dead. Darn! You doing okay there, games? Really? What did you say? Haul nothing. Alright, so he's not going to let us go. So, this is a section that took a lot of rewriting from the not suitable for work version 2. Oh, really, Crunchy? Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> walk west along stream or walk east along stream? Well, I think we just came from east, so let's go west. Oh, nope, we didn't. Okay. So let's go... Yeah, the football hill west of the bridge you arrived from. Local attractions include a stream to the south. Yeah, so let's go into the woods. <laughs> nice try. Oh, you cheap attempting. Dad West is getting cold mud oozing inside your socks. Yuck. Okay. So I guess... Let's go back past the stream. And let's go to the bridge. Yes. So let's go... East along the stream? There we go. Okay. You walk along the stream to be faced with a shiny metal gate. It is ornate, new looking, and above all else, very firmly locked. Oh, great, of course. Is Josh alright? This is the first time I learned his name. Yeah, I think he's okay. Are you okay? <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a drink? Yeah, I got a drink. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> the reading finally got to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. No, I just had a tickle in my throat. Ah, uh, okay. But you're okay. You're fine. You're Wait, good. how do you know my name's Josh? <laughs> Granted, I mean, uh, Seth came in and said my name. Yeah, yes, that he did. Darn you, Seth. <laughs> Alright, so uh, beyond this, there appears to be a cemetery under construction. Some tombstones are in the ground. This is the first time I learned his name. <laughs> I'll never tell him. Let's never tell him. Is Josh alright? This is the first time I've learned his name. <laughs> oh, we are now. <laughs> Alright, others are resting <laughs> on top of each other, bunk bed style. Amidst the tombstone and building equipment, several huge dog-like creatures are at rest. But their piercing <laughs> eyes, which glare into yours, suggest that this may not be a permanent state of affairs. Ah, oh, come on, let's whistle at the dogs. Yeah, exactly. This is exactly <laughs> what we should do, right? Whistle at the dogs? Third death. Oh my goodness. Those no, are no, not no, dogs. dogs! Those are wolves! Those are wolves. <laughs> Well, Game Society knows Retro's name because his wife forgets to not to call him his real name in stream. <laughs> yes, 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 definitely. In and case you're wondering, <laughs> Retro uh, is uh, Steph's husband. <laughs> yes. The mouths It feels like you're dying. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. It's all right. I, I'm fine. The, the mouths unfurl, unfurl and, and continue to unfurl <laughs> and unfurl more. All right, go ahead, man. <laughs> now it's all you. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no. no, no I go insist. Ahead, no. I insist. No, 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 go ahead. No, after you, I no, insist. No, no, it's all you. <laughs> Unfurl some more to reveal huge <laughs> and ferocious <laughs> wolf-like creatures who bear their teeth at you and charge, making loud thuds as they lunge into the gate. You offer a silent prayer of gratitude for the strength of the, men of the metal, but feel <laughs> that pursuing your luck would be unwise. Mm. All right, so let's. You know, I mean, they are dogs. They just the aren't stage. domesticated. <laughs> that, Steph, that you can play true. this game with Retro and pretend you don't already know the puzzles. Walk north up the yeah, it's really. Okay. Uh, you're not at the top. You're not at the bottom. But halfway up the hill, possibilities lurk in every direction except this one. All right, okay. So let's go up the hill. Let's go back into the house. 
uh, for the castle was built ah. near the bunny hill. <clears throat> was popular for sleeping in winter. Well, I'm glad that you feel better now I that do. you got a drink. I do feel a little better. Kids would go up and down the hill all day. Cringe's trying to kill me with all this reading. There's more reading than I do in my lifetime, usually. <laughs> but it was worth it for the joy. You feel like that now, except for the joy part. <laughs> yeah. Yes, clearly. <laughs> all right. Oh, that would be fun. I did get to tell him how to play a game he was streaming on YouTube. Oh, oh hey, well, that's always exciting. All right, you're in the dark. Nope. It's time to go in the corridor. Feels like an empty dragon. Chamomile and honey tea. That's what you need. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Wasn't that in which your character was drinking in the last game? I think it was. It might have been, actually. I feel like that's an Easter egg right there. Nah, yeah, cool. Maybe. Okay. So, we're in a corridor where she goes around the ground. The floor of the castle. Some of the rooms don't look quite ready yet. Da -da 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 -da. Did you go down into the room yet? Well, no. It just unlocked the door to go outside. Go back I down. Think. No, it didn't. Go back down. All the way down. Go inside the corridor. That's what I just did, and it took me here. That's stupid. <laughs> Was it? Maybe? What? <clears throat> the what camp meal and honey tea. Ah. Uh. I, I don't think know. it actually was. I, I honestly don't know with Crunchy. Okay, so. <laughs> so. We unlocked the door to get outside. Yes. Go back to Day. Not Daisy's room. Oh, could you use the sleeping... Oh, thank you. We needed this room. Yes, clearly. Yes. With her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, donkey's happy over here. <laughs> yes. Of course he is. All right. Uh, let's leave. So, can you, like, sleeping potion the guy at the bridge? Is that an option? Let's go try that. <laughs> I did not. I actually honestly forgot that we had a sleeping potion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. This is what you need for the new grounds audience. <laughs> yeah, it really. Yes. Okay, go down. All right. Uh, can I approach man? You probably have to approach the man first. All right, fine. We'll approach the man. I mean, it doesn't really say that I can. No, use it. it'd light up if you could. Yeah. So, talk to man. Can I? It's not lighting up, so I don't think uh, we can. Okay. Right, so so it's somewhere in the house we have to be then. Yes. Uh, inside to corridor. Go back to not Daisy's room, but the sister's room. All right. You mean this woman's room? Will you please drink the sleeping potion? Tongue. <laughs> what? Can we? No, he was saying we walked up to the guy oh, and said, yeah. Would you please yeah. drink this? Please, sir, will you drink this uh, sleeping potion that's a sleepy, sleepy, snoozy snooze? Examine the bedside table. Did we do that? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you pull open a section. Yeah, so we already did that. Uh, okay. Can we go back into Daisy's room? It's locked. Okay. Go downstairs. Yeah, well, that's where that's we That's back where we from. were, yeah. Can we say anything? Approach else? the little woman. Alright, we're gonna approach Elf. No, she's no, saying no. No, no, no. So, we, I, what if we call. Can her? we give you dreamy, sleepy, oh, wait, wait, wait. Daddy, snoozy snooze? Didn't she want us to take a picture of her sister? Yes. Is that anything to do with picture on the nightstand? Rudolph the Red Don't know, Rudolph. Steph with the 200 Oh, thank you, Steph! Oh, you know what that means. You actually forgot something you said very early on, Game Side. Really? What did we forget? What was forgotten? Something I was supposed to remember? I don't know. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, thank you. But you know what that means. In an earlier room. The secret bookcase behind the... Ah! Oh, oh, yeah, you did say that! Salmon book. Read up on sewage? Yeah. That'll trigger it to open. You're trying to take the sewage book, but it appears somehow stuck, then it I'm... jolts slightly towards you with a clunk. A whirling noise then makes you step back, and you realize that the bookshelf has shifted to one side, revealing a dark passage behind. Done, done, You done. hope all the puzzles are this easy. Yes. Yeah, well, I mean, I knew it was there. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, we should, you should be eating two jelly beans, but Steph... We are out of jelly we beans. We are actually out of jelly beans. They currently. expired. 
And they uh, were bad enough they as did, was. Yes. So, um, we're gonna have to go out and get new jelly beans. <laughs> Or if so, you have some kind of substitute you would like me to eat, yes. you can send it in the mail. Our P.O. box is listed in the Discord. Yes, that is true. We do have. Why would anyone have a bookcase unless it's concealing a hidden passage? Yes, exactly. Really, I mean exactly, really. Exactly, Except Coco. There's a bookcase right there. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> sadly. But mine doesn't go anywhere. It no. just goes into a wall, sadly. Yes. I can make it go somewhere. Your... No, that's okay, games. <laughs> We all know that you could do that, but that's No okay. one knows that except you. you find We're in the crypt, okay. In a dark and claustrophobia inducing section of the castle. Oh boy, that's fun. <laughs> now, is this actually there? Crunchy, is this photo you actually took? Well, I'm assuming so, that it's actually part of the castle. Yeah. yeah. Both uh, announced as the crypt. <laughs> Both by a gold-plated sign on the walls and several coffins okay. which stand in so stone enclaves beneath you. The northern entrance of the passage leads to the library while you hear barking and loud banging through the southern door. A hazardous That's spiral cool, staircase crunchy. leads downwards. Great. Maybe right, two. So yeah, okay. let's examine... These two. are all photos of Tamsworth uh, except two. Oh, okay. Examine coffins, because, oh my goodness. Watching your step, you descend the stone stairs and read the coffin inscription, which appears to have been carved recently. Mm -hmm. They mainly denote Mandez's ancestors through the centuries. Others are marked with epitaphs such as unknown God-fearing peasant and loyal servant of the King of America. King a chink of, of light America. flashes from the only metal object down here. It is a five-digit combination lock attached to a doorway Cleverly hidden amongst the coffins. Cool. A sensor. So there's a five digit code we need to get. Okay. Enter so, door itself. Enter door to this. How hard did you get a gate to m be more creaky? This guy's a mentalist. Pure and simple. You don't think the workman has so much as glanced in your direction, but the remark appears addressed to you. You decide to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm... I mean, I've drenched the joints in boiling water. I've dropped grit down there. Sandpaper, maybe. But then I'd have to take the sodding thing up ag apart again. <laughs> He'll be asking for more spider webs of the crypt next. You're an immas... Imma immaculated? The cut gardener sloping down the hill. It is littered with heavy equipment and gravestones of freshly dug earth. You spot a shed to the east, besides which huge canines lie dormant. The whole enclosure is fenced off. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? The man gives a theatrical sigh and continues in an ironic monotone. My name is Len. I'm a happy worker currently involved in creating a new cemetery. There's got to be a cemetery, apparently, because that shows this castle has a proud heritage and wasn't just open last week. I don't even want to know where the bodies come from. Alright. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, you can do things with the letters, Well, too. yeah, but I want to kind of do these. Um, what are these dog things? They're dire wolves, apparently. Some kind of beast that went extinct thousands of years ago. Oh, okay. But because they're old... Ozzy thinks they must be noble and wants them back. So he messes about with the DNA to get something That's... almost, but not quite right. That sums up this whole place. Rumor is he's scrapping the whole daft project. Good thing, too, or we'd be up to our necks in dragons bloody, by the end of the week. Bloody dragons. Oh, gosh, no. That would be horrifying. Yeah. Uh, why so, not leave? Yeah, and... if you're unhappy, why not leave? Leave and do what exactly? Join a traveling circus? Compose a grand opera? Exactly. Play on the wing of the Port Vale? Yes. I used to work for the council, and that was all right until we got outsourced to this char charlatan. Now it's lower pay, worse conditions, and the union reps have disappeared. And we have to do whatever old Ozzy tells us. Of course, the taxpayer still foots the bill. Good deal he's got there. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's <coughs> see. I guess we will... Oh, okay, you say, can you help me? Have you done that line yet? Uh, Len examines the note. It's definitely Daisy's handwriting. He says she's a bit scatterbrained and leaves menomatic lying around. You know, hints to computer passwords and what have you. 
All these things sound familiar, but I just can't place them. Alright, I think I said, can you help me? The second attempt at introduction is done succe more successful. And the man looks thoughtful as you tell your story. You got a new research assistant then. Three others started last week when this place opened. I heard them going up and down the steps to the crypt for a few days. Then I didn't hear from them again. If I were you, I'd leave and never look back. But you didn't hear that from me. Wish I could help you. But there didn't... Don't let me out either. Tell you what. If you feel like investigating, let me know what you find. Alright, sounds okay. good. Okay, so well, I'll show him Faye's note. You hand lend the diary and his expression darkens as he reads through oh, it. Oh gosh. You didn't make this up. You look intensely into your eyes and then sighs. No, of course you didn't. Bloody daft thing to be doing an hour into your job. I don't like this at all. They told me she was visiting her mother in rehab. Well, oh, I didn't boy. know the code for the crypt. That it sounds like good. she's already told you. Just follow her instructions. She always was one for crosswords and cryptic clues, was Faye. So she knows the... She knows the code. Read the note. Oh four one two oh zero four oh for one, one to hate two eight yeah very good Koga. I'm a smarty a lot of swearing has been replaced in this version that's why there are so many bloodies <laughs> <laughs> I, I figured that all right what was it oh applause Coco oh four one two eight oh four one two eight Enter. Oh, for one to eight. Yay! <laughs> you think you've decoded a phase puzzle. You enter the buttons of the garment with a faint click, and then a brief mechanical whir, the door unlocks. Yeah, uh, right. and a subterranean door, Coco. Yes. Find yes. out what's going on here. Yes! You descend the dark stone steps to be hit by a foul stench. Virtual, Virtual applause. applause, yes. Yes. Hit by a foul stench. As you reach the bottom, a fluorescent light flickers and stays on. Dull groaning noises echo around your head. The room consists of a computer which is turned on next to an untidily pile of papers. And beside cupboards and shelvings, two closed metal doors appear to be the source of the noises. They are marked cell A and cell B. Oh, that's fun. All right, let's, uh, let's read papers, because why not? Not wanting to be in this pit for any longer than necessary, you skim through the assorted newspapers and books. Paying attention to sections highlighted in green. Drugs epidemic in Manchester. Okay. Locals report concerns about the rising number of users or synthetic cannabinoid spice in the... Oh, retro! Retro! Right with party party four. Four. Thank, Thank you, Retro! Thank you, Retro! Thank you. Jinx. Thank you. Jinx. 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 So, uh, mm, these are typically homeless people can be seen acting like zombies in broad daylight, often passed out in Hello again, shops retro. and even defecating in phone boxes. Boy, that's fun. Sounds like, uh... uh read next art. Examine computer. Use computer. Alright. Welcome to Mercy again. You sit at a tatty wheel desk chair to see the background because it's a blue screen with America Co-Internet. Intranet. Hmm. <laughs> In large white letters, only a few icons to display. These are phone records, databases, email, and internet browsers. So, what do you want to do today? Hey, retro! Hey, how's retro! It going? How was your stream? I'm back. No longer what jumping back and have? forth between these two. What's she got? Hey, 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 puppy! Puppy, puppy, puppy! Look at that throw. That was a good throw. Right, oh, right on her lap. legs. Okay. I think she was just like chewing on her leg. All right, let's, uh, check. Hello, hello. Let's check the emails. Sure. Let's check the emails. Amidst the various scam, spam, and messages you see no use for, you find one that may be relevant to, in the sent folder. Sire, it is regrettable that you wish to mothball the genetics alteration program when we had such success with the two canines whose DNA were almost identical to direwolves of old, but of course I must respect your decision. However, this does not mean that we can focus on our pharmaceutical priorities. Our progress on studying drugs A and B is coming along rapidly. We already have the substance that permanently adhere to the brain's serotonin receptors and turn the subjects either into, in crude terms, 
mindless zombies or vicious, unthinkable killing machines. Moving to the castle will allow us to fine tune these experiences with minimal interference. The so most important priorities now are to find means for these substances to switch off when we require, and a means of application in unwilling subjects. Intravenous injections are, of course, impractical for our ultimate objective. So... Your humble are Dr. Kural. They're making zombies, or...? They're making zombies. Okay. Uh, it was good play more Sailor Moon RPG. I've still got my TV fireplace on retro. It's actually quite cozy. <laughs> oh, hey, we need one of those TV fireplaces. That'd be nice. We're in a deep, dark, dank basement. <laughs> There's always time for a cozy fireplace. Well, here, let me pull up that. <laughs> <laughs> you click the button, Mark. Retro Mark! stories. Uh, Mark! Go telecom records and get the list of the database, re uh, rate database searches. The most recent one was checked very recently, and hits close to home. You double-click on this entry. Private messages. Claire Bear. Claire Bear. Oh, Kuroba, I see. Claire Bear. Yes, Claire Bear. Claire Bear. Yes. Sent today, 11.56. Good luck with your ah. interview. Uh, thank you. you did Super what? Super Steffi has just followed. Thank, thank you, you for the follow, Steffi. Steffi. I'm assuming you're one of Crunchy's friends. Get I got you it from an A it, clockwork babes. orange. Don't I think it means your something in Russian. Karova. Uh, when you're rich and famous, mine's a double vodka LOL. Yeah. Dave sent today. Nine. Do you not forget pub quiz? So they have your oh, call history. From, yeah, the weird guy's Christmas or practice. Hurry up. Further down, you find a list of your entire history for messages, phone calls, internet browsing. Well, it was a loner phone. GPS location. So they took his phone and yes. took all information from it. Yes. All right, so access internet. You have to click the browser we button. You are stopped in your tracks. This site is blocked by America Co. Internet policy. You attempt to access the website has been registered and reported has been sent. Uh-oh. Uh, Great, let's, Coco. Let's, let's they know you're here. Let's leave the computer. Uh, let's, uh... Go... Shelves? You're trying to cover it, but they're all... <coughs> Quick, a lot. come here. Various vials, syringes, and other drugs lie on the shelf, but these are behind... I came with retro. I'm just doing the laundry. Grills. You <laughs> retro games. One. Regret! <laughs> what? Yes. Uh, he told a story of the kittens losing two. their mittens as requested by, by foster kitty Angie. Aww, that's cute. Alright, <laughs> so let's uh, enter cell A. The censored version. Well, hello there! Hello there, young woman! <laughs> as you approach the door, the ominous moaning and stench <laughs> increases. Although there is a keyhole in the door, the handle turns smoothly, bracing yourself. You pull the door back. And it choke as the smell of feces and gosh knows what else. <laughs> I noticed the shadows are very you. strategic, yes. Yes, <laughs> the shadows are very strategic in this game. <laughs> Three wailing figures are tied up in the cell. They fail to register your presence and gaze at the walls. There is a note on the wall, but nothing else that compels you to stay. It's, it's the KKK group. Yeah, it probably is. Read note. Study, Study drug, drug A subjects. subjects. New subjects arrive today. Gavin, Garen, yep. the three Keith. assistants. New subjects, yes. Yeah, Talk allow to that, subjects. Coco. What? Kinky. Kinky. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you manage. There is only a faint moaning in response. Good to see that you are all so, so. This is hopeless. You just <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely. Leave. Definitely. Yes. So, right, so this um, is probably. The, the sister? Uh, yeah. I'm assuming this is the sister. Karvov oh. is Russian word for cow. Oh, great. Oh. Open <laughs> the door, but you get by a smell of rotting flesh. The room is small and dark. But you discover the source of the odor to be hunks of flesh in a dog bowl. Light shines off a coil of chains on the ground, and a note is attached to the wall. Read note. Study. Yes. So She's the girl's missing. missing. We recommend tighter security procedure for cell B due to strength and aggression caused by administered drugs. Take meat. Take me. Congratulations, yeah. you're now proud owner of some rotting innards. Great. Sweet. Just what I wanted. So, the sister is loose somewhere. And she's apparently, like... No, she's not a zombie. 
It said she's. They were either zombies or they were like these crazy ah, fighting, yeah, she does. strong monster things. So, yeah. uh, so go tell the the guard or the gardener what's going on. Well, I can apparently use the meat. No, I think it's just and look at it because it's new. I think I regret my decision of looking at yeah, the really. nerds. <laughs> I've okay. been trying unsuccessfully to learn Russian, yeah. though it has scary. been a while. Okay, Yavas Lublu. That's all you need to know. Only say it to retro. Yes. Yavas Lublu. Okay. Go to library. No, not go to library. You want to go to the gardener. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, Because he right. said if you find anything, tell me. I know door to south. Uh, I don't see any new commands yeah, here. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't see anything new, and I can't, like... Show him anything. Show him anything, but I can go to the shed. I'm yeah, you really don't want to know what that is. <laughs> Great. Okay. Okay. I think oh, I... oh, okay. You can oh, mix can do... the, the sleeping pills and the innards and give to the dogs. Yes. You scratch some of the sleeping potion into the dog bowl, it fails. So. Okay. You drop the tainted meat into the bowl, and the beasts spring to life, almost tearing each other apart to get at the food. Once the last of the meat, gristle, and bone fragments have disappeared, they start eyeing you up, flanking you on both sides. One starts to sprint up, but hesitates and woozily drifts sideways. The other has less interest in you, and soon. Okay, so they, they you drugged them. Both, yeah. You drop it to I love you. Meters. Yes, exactly. Like you have both sides of the hesitates, yes. Okay. So there's a note. That was lots of interesting. Sure. It's probably from the sister. Read note. Uh, the note is written in an America Co paper scrawled on the It's a to do list. Pen. To do list. Make fence door creakier. Um that's very, uh, okay. Uh, feed monstrosities, arrange books and libraries. You're not, I, you're not too far room, off now. Prepare for drug distribution. All right, so let's open shut door. You got a boot. Oh, I got a boot. Got me some boots. A pair of well-worn practical work boots that you stole. These are especially practical as your special value smart shoes currently seem to be disintegrating. Yes. So can you put those on? Uh, now I think I gotta go to the you forest, and yeah. then I have to put them on. Okay. Uh, let's uh, see, the shed bolts making loud noise, you pull them back, and the dire wolves are out cold. Disappointingly, the shed read the doesn't note? appear. Read note. Yeah, this was the to-do okay. list. You can use the drugs again, I don't know why. Uh, oh well. Uh, let's see. You go down, see. see if there's anything new. No. No? Okay. All right, so this means I gotta go to the woods. Yes. So return to Castle Corridor, enter Ant Chamber. We're, we're on not roll too far now. off now. All right, we're going. All right, we go outside, go south, go clockwise around the hill, uh, go south. Go west into woods. Excited. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right, you put the lens. Whoa! It's the sister. Take a picture. No, phone out. I'll answer the phone after what seems like a long time. You relay the situation as calmly as you can manage and think you can hear her footsteps pacing down the stairs well before you finish. Put phone away. All right. Okay. I see yourself. Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. How's it going? Elf appears in no time after you message and has a glazed expression on her face. What are you doing out here? Dad won't like it. Of course, you never were one to just take his advice. Always exploring places you shouldn't. Uh, maybe you should just come oh, she went away. back to her so she's leaving. Phrase moans, turns into an even more menacing silence as she stares at her sister. The contest is soon over and Frey, <laughs> Frey moves to the east. Uh-oh! Look. She never could jump that stream. That's why she's lost. Elf says, followed by an unnerving burst of laughter. That's half schoolgirl giggle and half unhinged mania. Uh, can I leave now? You ask with feeling. 
breaking breaking the spell. Uh, oh, oh yes. You'll want to get to the pub quiz with the gang, won't you? Of course, Bob's on the bridge, and he won't let you leave just for me. Unless if I were to have a problem with my bedroom, he'd have oh. to come up and fix it, wouldn't he? Oh boy, he's always very eager to fix things for me when the old man's out. Oh, don't look at me like that. Frey passes her time exploring and rebelling. So this I spend is it more like, satisfying ways. Which approach has worked has worked better, would you say? Now, now wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Uh, that was meant to be changed, too. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Uh, now, wait a minute. We know what's happening. No one has a problem with the fact that Frey is like a killer zombie. And she's like out, I'm assuming, eating people. Elf grins and moves closer, <laughs> touching his shoulders with one hand and taking a phone out with the other. Oh, oh, 5561056. Five, 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 she says as she dials a number and walks back to the castle. Bad Bob. Yes, okay. Uh, so let's go back. If you boots on, you feel more confident that you'll be able to clear this jump. You take a run yeah. and leave. Okay. Now nah, that's fine. That's fine, so long as she's not eating the family. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I yeah, guess. Really. Climb fence and go north. Climb fence to go. Uh, let's go back across the stream. No, I'm just waiting in there. <laughs> Alright, so go east. Okay, okay, so go to where you can see the bridge. And then make the phone call. Call Bob. I can't. I may have to go to Bob. I think I gotta go into her room. Let's see if, since you're here, just go to the bridge and see if you can call the phone in. You cross the bridge into Clayton suburbs looking forward to seeing your friend and putting this whole bizarre nightmare behind you. Another friend has different ideas and Faye approaches looking like she's out for blood. There's no stream to protect you this time. I stand your ground and reason with Faye. Run north, fight Faye. Gonna go back. Uh, let's go back uphill. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to. Uh, well, apparently uh, I can't blah, blah, blah. go this way. And the door is locked from the inside. Okay, so that means I gotta go. Uh, in the NSFW version, you can also go back to the castle. Ah. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh huh. Wink, wink, nudge, uh, nudge. Yep. Uh huh. Um. So let's go downhill. What is she chewing on? She's got a plastic, a paper bowl. Why does she have a paper bowl? I don't know. Where did that come from? Uh. Let's see. Okay. So let's. I guess go south. Which is where she is. Call. What's about the phone? Phone Bob. Phone Elf. Ph try phoning Elf. Elf is disconnected. Better try something else. Bob. Hello, sir. He says in a panically and out of breath voice, I'm really sorry I'm not on my post. Something very urgent came up and you hear a giggle in the background. I'll be here immediately. Thanks, but What the? You say yeah, it was a There's a pause and you think you hear the man counting to three under his breath. It's you, isn't you, little rat? I don't know where you got the boss's phone from. But I'm coming down to teach you a lesson and won't forget in a hurry. Uh, playing playing for time, you keep your attention fixed on Faya, slowly backing off whenever she advances. But you don't have to wait long. Bob charges down the hill in a state of half-dressed, shouting obscenities about the gruesome things he's going to do to you. In a bender and then feed it, it to the wolves. Uh -huh. The man runs up to you and then stops as he sees her... And sees him. He pats down his jacket and looks terrified as whatever he is searching for is no longer there. Faye takes advantage of this to lunge at Bob, clawing her nails through his chest and tearing off his ear with her teeth. The wow. guard is forced screaming to the floor as Faye gouges and tears through the blood saturated figure. Oh, okay, we didn't leave. Alright, so we're leaving. <laughs> Oh, hey! Hey! Look, it's Crunchy! Hey, look, there's Crunchy. Uh, you run full pelt down the road and see two figures you recognize Claire and Dave. You should shout in gratitude and hug each other. Oh, babes, you got the job, says Claire. Dave blushes as, uh, as I think that you is, uh... hug him quickly, recovers, tap at his watch. I don't know what... Well done, he says, but have you been revising, revising for the pub quiz? 
No, uh, not at all. Word is the quiz master is a bit of a nutcase. He main interests our history, especially Saxon period, medicine, and politics. So it's important we quickly brush up on. You let Dave drawling wash over you and hear your office phone go off. It displays Elf's number and you answer. I've been a naughty girl, haven't I? I have Bob's revolver right here. Couldn't let him hurt my sister, even if she is a bit of a pain. Looks like I'll be seeing you in the pub after all. Oh my goodness. I hear goodness. Daddy's got a big announcement to make. Oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> hey! You've completed the video horror part one. Ah! You're amazing. Woohoo! Thanks for playing. That was actually a good question. We have won! Thanks for playing. If you enjoyed this, or even if you didn't, then please rate. Let us know. Any comments or suggestions you may have. We can't wait for part two! Yes! Can't wait for part two. Following us on this website, on Twitter, or whatever. Only two of us made this, and we both have full-time jobs. So any support would be fantastic. Guess I'll start on part two now. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, once again, if anyone would like to play this game for themselves, if you go to Crunchy Fried Games, uh, at Crunchy Fried Games on Twitter, you'll be able to find both this game and his other game that he made, which is Bandit's... Uh, it's like witches, bandits, and broomsticks or something. What is it called, Crunchy? We never get your soon, name soon, right. Soon, soon, hopefully. <laughs> what is the first game that we played? Witches and warlocks and bandits and swords or something. <laughs> it's, it's you a, butchered it. There's like I know it is. I know it's butchered. Witches yeah, and bandits, bandits and, and swords. swords. Right. Oh my. Okay, that's right. You were close. close. See, okay. I was pretty close. See, I'm thinking like broomsticks. I know. You're <laughs> way <laughs> off track. I said I'm I had warlocks track. in there. Yeah. That, but I was good on everything else. Yes. Yes. That but one. if you want to play either of games, those games for Which, yourself. That one is a lot of fun, too. It is. Like, that one is a good game. You will game die too. many times. Yes. You'll die a lot. And it's funny and hilarious. Yeah. Yes. But it's a good game. Well, thanks for playing. Well, thank it's you, Crunchy. Stream. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. We're glad you enjoyed it. We're sorry game, it took gosh. us so long to play it. Yes, definitely. Uh, but we look forward to seeing the next part. Yes. And any do. future games that you may make. Yes, definitely. These are always fun. And if you ever come to the, uh, you know, the United States for like a convention or something like PAX East or any kind of thing like that, let us know. Yeah, definitely. And we will try to uh, show up. Yes. Now, it is time for us to find someone you, to host. You're going to totally just... Just shut up, Coco. You're going to so, like, screw everything up here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's so much better. Yeah. All right. There okay, you go. and I'll confuse people with Squiffy. Yes. yes. Happy. I Christmas. don't think anybody over here Thank in the U.S. uses the word Squiffy. No one really does. Like no. I have never heard of Squiffy. Merry Christmas to you yes, too, Merry Crunchy. Merry Christmas, Crunchy. Let's find someone to host. Does anyone in the chat have anyone they would like us to host? Yes. Anybody. Anybody at all. We would love to host them. Happy Chinooka. 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 <laughs> Super. Steffi, do you have anyone that you would like us to host? And, and that. that. Yes. And that. That covers everything. You got Christmas, Hanukkah, you know, you name it, it's in there. I'm literally about to start. Oh, okay. Okay, Steffi, you start and then we'll host you. Yes. How about that? I like this music. It's very nice. It's very calming. It I is like very it. calming. It's great. Let me drop a follow here. Already dropping follows? Yeah. <laughs> like that good good. Yes, that good good good. When do you start? Hmm? I was saying when Steph, is, Steffi is going to actually start. Well, she said she was starting here in a few minutes. I know, but we're kind of rushing her now. I feel like, I feel bad. Why are you, like, okay. why do you feel bad? Come on, Steph! <laughs> Alright, so anybody, how is your day going, guys? How are you doing? Everybody ready? I'm hurry upping! <laughs> is everybody ready for Christmas, or, you know, 
Everybody's still shopping, doing last minute shopping plans. And my parents are going out at Christmas Eve. I shopping. know, your parents are. They're crazy. They're crazy. They're going out Christmas Eve to do sh Christmas shopping. I'm like, <laughs> heck no, that's I'm not doing that. A little. Little. It's a little on the crazy side. I don't feel like you know, beating people over the head trying to get a Christmas gift. <laughs> yeah, trying to run them over. Black with Friday the is bad enough. Actually, that Christmas Eve. It's yeah. worse. Oh yeah, but actually, Black Friday wasn't that bad this year. No, actually, it wasn't. It was pretty, pretty chill. Yeah. Over here in the U.S. Pretty relaxed. Looks like no stream for me after all. PlayStation Network is down, and that's my only platform. Oh man, Rip. that stinks. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Well, we got you followed for next time. We got you. Well, let us see. Do you have anyone that is currently streaming that you would like us to host then? System updates are the death of me. Yep, yep. Know how that is. Yeah, we've been there. Been there. Is Game Changer streaming? I, I don't think he's streaming. No, he's some not. Days. So it's going to be about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, I'll follow so I can see when you stream. Well, I mean, Either. we can kill 15 minutes, Steph. I mean, we can. I don't know if everybody wants. Uh, hang on here, let me. Let's find some kind of game just to fill 15 minutes here. I do. Okay. Uh, so what do you want to play, games? Uh, let, well, first we have to open Steam. We'll kill 15 minutes here. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, okay. Arrows of Kara is streaming. Arrows of Kara. Arrows. 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 I, was, I said Arrows <laughs> Okay, so we oh, will raid goodness. her. Or him. I don't know who it is. This lovely individual. A person who is streaming Minecraft. Yes. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Crunchy, we really enjoyed your game. Yeah, we look we forward did. to the next part. Yes. And we always enjoy having you in the chat. Yes. But uh, we'll see you all next time. Uh, actually, tomorrow at 9. Tomorrow at 9, we'll be back again with more uh, Skyrim. Yes, we're playing Skyrim. Coco well, I'm playing Skyrim. Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. Never played Skyrim in my life. I think the last time I uh, killed a chicken. You did?